All right, y'all, we are here. And I wanna say thank you so very much for being on with us. So if you are watching the recording, fantastic. I'm just so excited to be with you guys. My name is Holly Hireman. I am a CEO of Fit Finances. All that means is that's what I named my team way back in the day when I went incorporated, um, before there even like team names was a thing. So that's that's what I decided to name my team because that is the reason that I got involved in this business to begin with is because I needed to get my finances fit. Like I needed to get them in shape. So that's kind of where the name came from. Today we're going to talk about creating your content calendar because having a calendar something that you're following can vastly help you with your posting as opposed to willy-nilly just grabbing stuff out of the sky figuring things out so what we did last week we went over um these cool calendars so if you didn't do this if you haven't done this exercise yet um we went over like quarter three calendars we added on here um, things that Beachbody is promoting and then other things like myself. Um, I will let you guys know super fast. Let's see. For instance, um, right after Summit, I'm going to be holding a Diamond Fish, so Diamond and Beyond registration. And um, just just so you are worry, oops, come on back. Sorry about that. Hold on, I messed up the view somehow. <laughs> just if you guys can make sure that you're muted when you pop on, that would be fantastic. So I'm going to be hosting a Diamond and Beyond. Um, we'll be having that registration open and make sure that that's on your calendar if you want to be part of that. That's going to be July 15th to the 21st. So it's only going to be open for one week after Summit. That registration and then boom we're gonna jump right into our diamond and beyond um, training so any like this would be perfect for new coaches to really get started it'll be perfect if you have never hit diamond it will be perfect for you if you're trying to reach above and reach into the star diamond um, so I haven't developed any, that yet but I will I'm looking forward to that for the rest of the dates and important information you got to go back and watch last week's call all right okay good so what we're gonna talk about tonight is crafting your content calendar. I wanna give you some ideas. You've probably heard said over and over again that you should be putting up about six stories a day. I hear that number come up quite frequently. So based on that number and also based on Gary Vaynerchuk's um, theology, I think it was, no, it's not Gary Vaynerchuk. Hold on. Yeah, it is Gary Vaynerchuk. Jab, 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 right hook. He's the one that wrote that book. Um, we're going to kind of jump off of that, catapult off of that, and develop a strategy for you. So get out your notebooks, put on your thinking caps, and we're gonna roll. Ready? Here we go. I have to find my notes then, because I was just putting it all out. Here we go. I'm terrible, because I never wanna like waste any paper, so I just, <laughs> I never wanna waste paper. And then when I'm done with something, I cross it off, and anyways. So, so that's, that's the, the funny little note that you guys see on my desk all the time. It's always because of that. Okay. Here's a couple of things. First and foremost, you are going to develop three regular, like non, I'm going to call them non sales posts. Okay. Or areas. Okay. So here's the, the formula that I had was three non sales to pure content relating to your, you know, relating to this, relating to this business, one call to action, okay? Three non-sales, meaning has n really nothing to do at all with um, Beachbody, like at all. Because I think, actually I know, especially my new coaches, <sighs> the thing that happens is I go and look at their feed, or I'll happen to catch them on Instagram and every single post is join my group, join my group, this product, that product, how to do this. And yes, I realize look, we have so many products. We have so much that we could share with somebody like, Oh my God, I just learned this recipe and I just saw this awesome video and I just, and it's, it's so easy to get caught into the beach body, beach body, beach body, beach body, beach body. We need to make sure that we are, we are showing first who we are and being a leader. So I don't think I need to beat that over the head, but um, if you were to follow this formula, it's not an exact science. Social media is not an exact science. And I've said a million times over that I am not at all um, an expert in social media. 
but I do want to give you guys some really good strategies on what you can and should be posting and then how to pull from various ideas, big old brainstorms to come up with an actual calendar. All right. So first let's come up with those three non sales. And obviously you want to imagine it. Like if you were to have six posts, it will be like <clears throat> non sales, pure content relating to beach body in some way, shape or form non sales, pure content relating to beach body in some way, shape or form call to action. Okay. So if those were your, is that five? Let me think. Hold on. I had it written down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, then pure content, then call to action. Okay. So you can have <clears throat> three, three of your just regular type of posts and then the two content teaching something probably. And then the call to action. Yes, that is a total of six. I can do math in my head. <laughs> it's amazing. Sometimes that does work out. So let's first talk about the non-sales because this is the one that a lot of us struggle with quite a bit. Number one, category one, your interests. So this, that sounds very broad because at first I had listed hobbies, I had passions, those kind of go in there. So whatever interests you, television, um, anything that you're passionate about, your, you know, religion, um, quotes, books, authors, basically like what are things that interest you? Because this is going to give people a glimpse of, um, you know, like who you are as a person outside of what you quote unquote do and, um, outside of this whole fitness thing. Okay. Passions. So under passions, like what makes you mad? And you can just write these things down if you want, because our call is only 20 minutes. So it does get, it does go by super quick. So I'm just going to give you guys bullets and then you can come back and actually brainstorm it out. And I know that people listen while they're driving and whatnot too. What makes you mad? Don't be afraid to cause controversy, my friends. What makes you sad? If you have, you know, like a, um, for instance, like a, not a fundraiser, um, my brain is escaping me. You know what I'm talking about? A nonprofit that you're really passionate about that you'd like to support. Um, what makes you like freaking ecstatic? What makes you happy? So things that, that evoke a strong emotion for you. I think I went, I, I did a, I did a Facebook live the other day about like, because somebody had called me a liar because I didn't, they called me a, they called me a scammer and a liar because I didn't reply to them immediately. Um, from with a Facebook message. And I was like, I am not my, met, you know, I'm with my kids at the an amusement park. I'm sorry. That doesn't make me a scammer. <laughs> so anyways, but so I kind of went on a little bit of a rant about that. And I was like, I don't care if people get upset about this. Of course I disguised it and I twisted it around so the person wouldn't exactly know. Um, but still it was kind of like, this is not, this is not okay. This is not okay. So I went, I went on a little bit of a rant. I don't do that very often. I always have like an upswing. Um, typically, basically these things show who you are, your interests, um, oh, <laughs> hobbies, travel, volleyball. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of, lots of different hobbies. What are the things that you like to do? Or like for me, um, I used to love, I had a quad. I love to go dirt bike riding. This was pre kids. And it's like, I can't wait to get back to that point. Once again, my husband always po posts about surfing. He loves to surf, you know? So what are the things that you love to do? Who are you? Okay. That's category one. Category two is your daily life. This one's actually pretty easy. It's kind of like, um, here's some ideas for you. What is your daily routine? Just a daily routine. <clears throat> it's a really good exercise. If you're like, okay, because some, you know, a lot of times I sit there and I think, well, I'm just not that interesting of a person. But if I truly start to think about like my daily routine, how I created that daily routine, how I created my morning routine, how I created my evening routine, what's my routine with my kids? How do I get them ready? How do I um, multitask? Okay. So your routines can be helpful and interesting to people. You just don't think that they are because they're your routines, they're your habits. Okay. So <clears throat> daily routines habits, your struggles, things that you're working on, daily life. How do you 
do the laundry. I have a, I, I just, I have to make my laundry room look a little bit better, but I seriously have to share my, um, my whole like laundry system tip. I really do. But I mean, I, I, everything is just like real scribble scrabbled right now. It needs to look a little bit cleaner, but anybody could walk into my laundry room legitimately and do my laundry without any, um, direction whatsoever for me because everything's labeled and yeah, kind of crazy like that. All right. Daily life. This has, this has to do with your family, your friends, the things that you do on a day to day basis. You might not think are very, you know, interesting to other people, but they're interesting. Um, I had a bunch of posts about LASIK, which I just celebrated 30 days. I'm still scared to wear makeup because I keep doing drops all the time. So I'm like, I just think I'm going to look like a raccoon all the time. Um, how do you take care of yourself? Right? How often do you wash your hair? <laughs> I did, a, I did a, a video about that once. That was kind of funny. But things like that. Your job, your job, your daily life, your daily routine. How do you make sure that you are, you know, getting everything done that you need to get done? How do you, what to-do list do you use? What apps do you use? Okay? Daily life. Stuff that you do all the time. Category three is, I like to think of this as like helping, this is like the teaching category. Okay. Um, so this is where you go a little bit more in depth because interests, passions, I mean, that's, that's pretty deep, right? If you really talk about stuff that you're passionate about daily life, that's kind of light. But then once you get to, okay, you got moms, moms, listen, you need to put your kid on a schedule. If you are trying to get anything done, you need to be putting your kids on a schedule. And this is why these are the things that I learned. Here's what I did wrong. And here's what I'm doing right. And this is why it's helped so much. You know what I mean? Like there's so many things that you can just rapid fire that you've learned that you could help somebody else figure out, right? Um, figuring out how to make sure that your kids will eat vegetables. Um, what could you, what could you share? Um, Mari Smith calls it OPC. She calls it other people's content. So sometimes you can just Share something that you learned in your personal development. Hopefully you guys are wrapped, just, just jotting down a bunch of bullet points. Stuff that you've learned, personal development. Um, maybe you want to give a tutorial. I recently, um, it's not, I don't think it's out yet, but a plantar fasciitis video because I have, I struggle from time to time with plantar fasciitis. So I took my top tips and some stretches that I use. And what did it was my sister sent me a message. It was like, Holly, I think I have plantar fasciitis. This is where it hurts. And I'm doing these stretches, but it's not helping. And I was like, oh God, this, this has been on my to-do list for five years. Let me bust it out. <laughs> so I did. So it'll be uploaded to YouTube pretty soon. Um, a lesson that you've learned. All right. Okay. Now let's get to the content. The content meaning content relating to your videos. So those are your three non-sales, meaning not Beachbody related. Now we're going to get to the content that does relate to Beachbody in some way, shape or form. This is also where you take like a leadership position, a mentorship position a little bit because you want to show yourself some, some authority. So it's one of those ways is social proof. Social yeah. proof is just like sharing testimonials. All right. Testimonials before and after photos, other people's testimonials, your customers, testimonials, your coaches, testimonials, all of our testimonials. Before and after pictures, you can grab them right off the Beachbody website. All right, you can share those. Here's another way that you can have content that's like a jab, right? So we're doing these little jabs. We'll do two jabs, boom, boom. Um, how do you do your meal prep? Tips on weight loss, tips on nutrition, tips on how to get your exercise in, tips on weightlifting, so stuff that directly relates to our business, but you're not really making like a call to action. You're not telling people to take action. You're just teaching them something. So here's, here's a good formula of doing it. Before blank, so before Shakeology, whatever you wanna do, fill in the blank. I was like this, or I felt like this. So then I found this, and now my life is this. So this is what I was before. This is what I have now. This is what Susie had before. This is what Susie has now, right? I had somebody recently telling me, oh yeah, it was my father-in-law. He said, um, yeah, I was really surprised. I went to the doctor and he said I didn't have to be on um, high cholesterol medication anymore. And I was like, you shouldn't be surprised because that is a 
natural byproduct of Shakeology and you've been drinking it for, you know, several months now. So of course, yes, you can take that medication off the list and high blood pressure medication is next. You know, that's what I told him. So that those are some specific ways that you can add content. They're like little jabs, but you're not specifically telling them, join my group, join my team, bah, 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 bah. okay? can do that for the business opportunity as well. Okay. I did this a lot based on, um, you know, challenge groups, mainly because, mainly because, um, you know, we have the $20 off promotion right now. So please make sure that you're capitalizing on that and you're sharing that with people. Um, last piece, you ready? This is the call to action piece. This is where you tell them you're going to send me a message. You tell them what to do. Now, of course, I'm going to say all of this social media content creation, <sighs> social media is important, but your invitations will be 90% of your business, maybe even 95. So it's important to have a presence. It's important to back up what you're inviting to. It's important to show people that you are in a place of authority because people are gonna be following you and watching you for years sometimes before they decide to make a commitment. However, your invites are gonna be the most important thing. The one-to-one -one invites, it does not work just to post. That will not work, okay? So I wanna make sure that I'm very clear about that. <laughs> that will not work just to post. You must be inviting one-on-one. -on -one. But here's an example of how you would create a call to action um, post. Number one is you state the, comp the, the problem. Okay. More than likely you are sharing a story about a problem that you had. And this is where you can directly reach into the brain of the person on the other side of the computer screen. And you can basically read their mind because if they're like you, then they probably have a similar struggle. If they're reading a post that says I gained, like I just posted, I gained 50 pounds with my first son. If they're reading that, then they, that might go, oh my God, yeah, me too. Or yeah, I gained 75 or yeah. I mean, 50 pounds is kind of a lot, especially when the doctor's like, oh, you should only gain 25 pounds. It's like, shut up. <laughs> I had no control, I swear. <laughs> so number one, you state the problem. Number two, the things that you tried that didn't work. Because again, you are reaching right into their brain. I tried this, I tried that. I tried all these different things. Number three, the solution that you found. What works? What worked for you? Number four, price juxtaposition. What does that mean? That's just a fancy way of saying, like, you know, say for instance, you're talking about Shakeology and you can say, yeah, you know, you could probably go and purchase every single one of these 70 ingredients at the store and you can concoct it yourself. And you wouldn't need me or my support group or my accountability. However, it would cost about $700 to create that. So that's a, that's a good price juxtaposition. Or if you're talking about a challenge pack, you could say, yeah, you could, you could just do this or you could just do that. But together, this is what you would be saving, right? So you can pr present that if you like, if you so desire and choose. It always, um, the juxtaposition that I proposed in my recent post I, I said something to the tune of, yeah, you could do this on your own. Yeah, you could figure out your own meal plan. Yeah, you can figure out your own exercise plan. But if you could do that and you could, all, you could do all of that for free, then why hasn't that worked for you so far? So, you know, you figure out how you want to say it. It's totally up to you. Like me, I needed a simple solution that was all in a bag that was going to be really easy for me, a meal plan that I could just follow and I didn't have to figure out on my own, right? Number five, why this is superior, which is kind of what I just said, why it works, accountability. Um, they're going to get you. They're going to have your help. They're going to have one-on-one -on -one support. You're going to be able to point them in the right direction. They're never going to have to second guess anything. Like you literally are going to handhold them and walk them through. So they don't have an excuse anymore. They are going to get there. All right. And then number six is the call to action. So the call to action literally comes with, you need to give emergency. You need to have enthusiasm and you need to tell them to do something. Comment below, message me, double tap, whatever it is. I say, I do a lot on Facebook, so um, I'm there a lot. I'm going to go over those six real quick and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll wrap, I'll wrap up for you guys. So the call to action post, 
And by the way, this is what is also known as like the infomercial formula. So if you, if you um, see an infomercial, they follow this formula. The only other thing that I forgot to say, and you could insert in here, and it would probably be under step five, why this is superior, is the social proof, all right? So step one is the problem. You gotta talk about the problem. What is the problem? I was so tired of feeling bloated all the time. The problem, what is your problem? I could never figure out how to lose weight. What is the problem? I had no energy. I was having to take a nap every single day. I was irritable, blah, 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 blah. Number two, what you tried that didn't work. Number three, the solution that you found. Number four is the price juxtaposition. Number five is why it's superior, meaning why this works. Give the social proof in there too. Um, if you guys go back and look at the post that I put up, I talked about um, when I decided to try, I didn't say 21 Day Fix, but basically that's the program that I, that I decided to right after my son. And it said literally thousands and th thousands and thousands of people had already had amazing results using this. So that's why I chose it. So um, I provided that. Number six is the call to action. Send me a message, comment, double tap, like, whatever you want to say. And let them know that you're going to be in touch. Oh, thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So, Scott says these tips are so good. Um, I love what he put to He says um, hobbies are travel and volleyball. What makes him mad? Sugar, liars, and humidity. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about those things. Of course. Oh my gosh. I don't understand why people lie. I really don't. I really don't understand it. Like that's, I'm going I'm to I'm have to put, go on a rant about that really soon too. <laughs> TV shows, you guys are so much. So again, it's non-sales, content, teach. Non-sales, just your daily life, content, teach. Non-sales, call to action. Is that five? I keep doing it wrong. <laughs> How am I counting that wrong? <laughs> oh, content, teach. <laughs> I forgot that one again. You guys get, you guys get the point. You guys get the message. Um, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being part of this. Thank you for being on. Um, if you need more specific ideas on like, what are some things to post? Honestly, just look around your house or, um, I have, I'm going to throw some ideas in a document too. Literally it's things like, um, share, share your workspace. My workspace is crazy. Like I am a, I am a messy, I am a very messy, see all the stacks, but I am a, I am a, I know where everything is stacking messy person. Do you know what I mean? I've always been like that. Doesn't bother me that there's stuff on my desk. Not one bit. As long as I have a cup of coffee, typically I'm good to go. Um, so just things about that. Oh yeah, one of my passions, coffee. I love coffee. So the things that you're going through, daily life. Da, 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 da. So anyways, I want to say thank you so much. I'm going to try to get just a list of different things that you can kind of pluck from, pick and choose from. That way too, um, it just, sometimes it's just helpful to have other ideas, you know, share a selfie of you going to the grocery store, um, you making a meal, all those different things. There's so many different things. And I don't think that I have to say this, but I will. Video and photo, please, 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 please. <laughs> those are the most powerful types of posts. They're going to get the best engagement and the, guest, the best reach. So thank you guys for jumping on. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Take care.